In this lesson on Excel, this introductory lesson in, in Excel, um, I'm going to show you some of the basic features of Excel. Excel is a, an incredibly um, useful program um, and one that many shy away from. So we need to learn the basics before we can progress on to what you can really do with it. Excel is made up of cells and cells are arranged in rows and columns. So this is a row and if you click on the number can see that you can select an entire row and if you select on a column you can select an entire column. Now all, all um, cells, and the, each one of these is a cell, each cell is given a cell address, a grid reference. So if I click in a cell you can see here that's the cell address B3 so it's the um, XY um, Cartesian coordinates the um, letter is the first value and the um, number is the second value, the X and Y value. So every time I click in a different address, it's cell, the address changes as you can see here. This next um, area here is the formula bar and it's with in this area here that you can actually enter data. So if I wanted to put some data into cell A2, I simply click in here and type in this data is now entered. Um, obviously Excel is not something you want to use a lot of text with, its, it's primary function is, is a, as a calculation tool. But if you want to highlight and delete any cell, you click on the cell you want to delete um, and the information appears in the function bar up here and you can um, just highlight and delete like you would do ordinarily in Word. Excel has many um, interesting features. Uh, one I want to show you here currently is autofill. Um, it recognizes many things um, and if you click in the cell that you want to copy in, in the bottom corner you can see a little uh, black square if you grab that square the cursor changes to a black cross and drag down it recognizes um, Excel recognizes that Monday is in fact a sequence and, and you can create um, a sequence of days or weeks um, and this this works across or, or down, doesn't matter, as you can see, it um, Excel understands what you're trying to do um, and can spot patterns. Now, what's happened here is the AY of Wednesday has disappeared and we can um, edit the width and the height of cells quite simply. So if you click on um, the boundary between cells, you see the cursor changes um, the cursor changes to this double arrow. If you click and hold down with the right mouse button, you can w uh, widen to um, show the text, or you can minimise to hide it. The data is still there, as you see in the in the um, formula bar up here. The data is still there, so they, even though it appears to be missing, it's actually slid underneath the next um, cell in the uh, next uh, row. But we can extend it out here, and you can see when extend it all the way out to here. But we are going to delete this lot here, so I'm just simply highlighting the cell I want to delete and press the delete button. You can use this autofill feature to create, um, again, you can make these cells wider. So if I delete these, and I want to make my cells a certain width, I want to make them double height cells, and again, I can click my entire row and drag down and copy and my cells are now all the same height to as far as I did my highlight. So I'll undo that. So let's do autofill again. Again you click and you just drag on the bottom right hand corner, seven days here. Um, we can also see that down the bottom of the page here we have um, our worksheets. Uh, Excel is uh, called were arranged into workbooks and each workbook by default has three sheets. Um, you can change the order of the sheets and you can rename them. If you simply right click on the tab you can rename it. So we'll just call this and you can move them around but all the information here we want currently is on this page. Now 
the next, the, the most useful tool, the simplest tool that most students want to use Excel for is to create graphs. So we've created a, a column here of days of the week, of one particular week, and now we can enter some data. Um, and Excel is, is very good at spotting patterns. So all I need to give it is two cells worth of data, and I can highlight both those cells, and again use the auto fill, which means I just need to grab that bottom right hand corner and drag down and Excel creates, understands the pattern and as you can see it's now auto filled that for me which is great for filling out times tables etc. We can now make a graph of this data and I'm going to show you next how you do that and what you need to do is you need to highlight the data that you wish Excel to convert into a graph for you and then on the toolbar up here you can see this icon here make sure this is all highlighted. Um, this icon here is the chart wizard and if you click on the chart wizard this screen appears and it's a four step process. You can choose the appropriate kind of um, uh, graph that you wish to make and a lot of these um, are inappropriate for the kind of column, uh, for the kind of graphs that students are trying to make and in indeed you can talk about that. We're going to make a column graph today and there are various options within here you can make a 3D column graph or a cumulative graph or whatever. Um, but we'll just make an ordinary column and you can experiment with this as you go. This button down here enables you, just have a look down here, this, this button here enables you to press and hold and see a sample. So if you want to see what a 3D view would look like, you can do that. Um, but we'll just carry on with this option here. Click next. And here's our graph, it's all made. Um, looking really good. We can give it a title. So, we can uh, give it a value, so the x-axis would be days of the week, and the um, y-axis might be, new, uh, let's say, rainfall in millimetres. Doesn't matter what you want to do. Click next. Right. Now the most important piece of information here is you can see you've got two options. You can either embed your chart into um, your work, the current worksheet, or I, I, what I like to do is actually put it into a new, new sheet altogether and give it a name. And this will, this is the name that will appear in the tab. Um, and click finish. So now we can see down the bottom here we've got our worksheet called Excel Basics and we've got our worksheet called Excel Lesson 1. I want my Excel Basics sheet to be the top top sheet so I can change the order by clicking on the tab in here, where have we got? Let's do. and I can move it along and so now this is still my sheet number one and Excel Basics chart is just here. Now, the great thing about this chart is it's not static. If I wish to change any of the data in the Excel basics here, I mean 123 millimeters is, is quite a lot, so actually let's change, let's put a decimal point in here. Um, but here, let's change this to zero, we had no rain today. And so I've, as you can see, I've changed these, let's change this to 5.67 mils, and we'll make this less than a mil, and we'll make this point. So I've, as you can see, I've gone through and I've edited all my data here, and instantly you can see by clicking on the chart the graph has changed as well. What happens is Excel maintains a link between these sheets and you can exploit that to do some quite complex calculating um, in the future. But for the moment really um, that is the basics of entering data into Excel and being able to create a simple graph from it. So the next lesson we'll do some uh, more interesting stuff. But Excel is a very powerful tool and one that I would urge you all to um, spend some time getting to know.